Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll talk about that how you can bring best out of your MTech thesis and make a publication in some good journal or conference. So a couple of weeks back, I made a video regarding why MTech thesis or MTech project is important. And in that video, I discussed that why you shouldn't ignore your MTech thesis when you will be doing MTech curriculum in some uh, some engineering domain or uh, science domain. And what are the benefits that you will get if you do good work? out of your mtech uh, thesis and get a paper out of it so if you haven't watched that video i'll highly recommend you that after watching this video please go and watch that video the link i'll be given in the description or it might come in the i button uh, you can you can check it out now coming back to this video in today's video i'll i'll give you some insight that how you can utilize your mtech thesis maximally and how you can get a publication out of it as a, as a part of your mtech thesis so if you're interested please stay tuned till end and before starting the video as i always say if you like this video please like it so that it get more and more reach and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload a video you'll get instant notification without further ado let's start into today's video now the first step is you have to choose your area of interest very wisely and why i'm saying this because this first step is very very important now you have already cracked the gate exam you have already excelled uh, to the level of gate so you might feel that you have interest in various domains uh, of your particular discipline so all the 10 subjects or 12 subjects that is there in the gate syllabus of your discipline uh, you might be comfortable in all of them because you have already cracked the gate exam but the knowledge you have now that is a bachelor level knowledge or btech level knowledge and once you get into iits and isc for your mtech after doing you know semesters for a couple of months you will realize that you are not interested in all the all the areas rather you might be interested in very few specific sub areas of your domain so that's why you know first two semester of your mtech uh, you know try to explore uh, different subjects and try to get the opportunity to see which which are the subjects that is there in different sub areas and where your particular interest lies so based on that you have to decide that which sub area you want to work on as a part of your mtech thesis and please remember here that don't get influenced by your friend's opinion or maybe what's going on in the market what have more values in the market uh, because your interest is the most important thing here if you are not interested in a particular domain whether there is importance uh, you know what there is demand in the market or not you can't excel in that domain i can give you a popular example of my discipline in computer science nowadays ml ai is is a boom i mean everybody wants to work in ml and ai now if you just follow the trend and get into ml and ai and if you don't have you know much interest in linear algebra probability and optimization you can't do good in ml and ai field you have to be good and you have to uh, you know you have to like linear algebra probability optimization then only you can do well in machine learning and ai so that's why you know where your interest lies that you have to evaluate continuously and that decision you have to take wisely and there is potential in all the sub areas of all the discipline there are there are lot of open problem that is there in all the areas so if you are particularly interested in a domain you can choose the open problem that is there in that sub area and then you can work and then you can excel in that area so that's why the first step is very important that you have to choose your sub area or area of interest very wisely the next step is engage with professors and the senior lab members so by the end of first semester roughly you will have an idea that which direction you are interested in and based on that you start interacting with different professors who are working in that direction and then you see what are the research problem that uh, that particular professor is focusing on and maybe you can you can read few few papers on that domain or maybe you can see some lectures of the of the state of the art models or state of the art algorithm that is there uh, on that particular direction and also at the same time start talking with uh, you know lab seniors who, who works under those professors so all this interaction you know how it helps you is that that time you will have a lot of questions in your mind uh, regarding the whole procedure of research you know how the lab works whether the guy is strict or not whether you will get enough time to you know do the do the research and then the experiment so a lot of questions will be there in your mind also you will have an confusion that whether you will get leave during your placement or not uh, if you work under that professor because there are many professors who are very demanding and they don't allow you to take dedicated leaves for the placement they they think that okay uh, you can you can do your research work parallel you have to prepare for the placement on the other hand there are some other guides also who who leaves you i mean who who let you go for a two months uh, leave 
preparing for placement and then come back after placement and resume your work. So these kind of questions will be there in your mind regarding the whole process of research during an MTech thesis and this kind of interactions with both professors and senior lab members both PhD and MTech will helps you to clarify uh, these questions. So this is also very important in the ne next next phase that interact with uh, different professors and different lab members. The next step is choose your lab and guide very very carefully. So as I was saying you have to interact with all the professors and their lab members and based on the interactions you have to decide which lab to choose. And you know choosing the guide proper guide is the paramount of the success of your MTech thesis. If you are choosing a perfect guide for, for the next one year and if the guide is really good that will help you uh, to get a publication out of your out of your MTech thesis or MTech project. Now here are two cases. So one kind of professor will be there who are relatively new in the institutions and their lab is recently established and these are kind of the assistant professors who have just finished the PhD or postdoc and come and join the institution. Now in this case you have to check uh, whether the guide is active or not because in this case as the lab is just just established recently established you won't get much senior PhD student to assist you in your MTech, MTech thesis. So that's why you need the professor to help you actively during your uh, during your MTech thesis. So that's why you have to check how active that person is. Whether the person is, person is actively doing research and participating in different uh, you know research program that is happening in institutions. What is his publication record? Whether he is publishing in good journal or conference or no, conference or not. So these kind of things you have to check. And if you really see that that person is doing you know actively research in recent times and publishing papers in good journal and conference then i will highly recommend you that you join under that guide because the advantage is that in if the guide is really active he will actively participate you during your research as a part of your mtech thesis and that actually increase your probability of getting a publication because that guide you know that person will uh, give you the research problem he will help you that which paper to read and all and you know at the end maybe in the experiment also he can he can help you and at the end he will help you to write that research paper so it's a it's a invaluable you know kind of experience or opportunity to work under a professor who has just joined who has just finished his phd from some university and he has all the experience that he will give you and assist you during your research program on the other hand if the professor is a bit older maybe he is associate professor or uh, you know or professor uh, and his lab is well established he's maybe he he will be much more renowned in the in the community also so it also has its uh, you know pros and cons so as the professor is renowned you know it it will get you good recommendation in your future for getting off campus placement or uh, if someone is interested in phd that will help and also you know in a, in a big research lab you will get many senior phd student with whom you can discuss or maybe one of them can actively work with you and assist you in the research problem also but yeah in this case obviously you can't expect the professor to actively work with you because as the professor is older uh, he has some other responsibilities like administrative responsibility and other so that's why he will be a lot of busy so he he can't help you but uh, the seniors then you see ho how the seniors are working in in this lab so if the professor is older so you have to check whether the lab is good or not and whether the senior uh, phd fellow are doing good research or not then if it is so then you can join that lab and work with the uh, senior uh, phd fellow and they will help you to uh, do well in your MTech thesis. So this is how you have to analyze and this is how you have to select your lab and the guide uh, based on the survey that you will be doing. The step four and the final step is that you have to start as early as possible. So as you have decided that you will be joining some lab under some guide, uh, talk with that guide and start as early as possible. So by, by the end of your second semester, like around May uh, this time, typically the second semester of the previous batch is to, is, to, is to end. And if you are really interested to do well in your MTech thesis, start right now. I mean, start from May itself. Because you know, this is a research project and you will be doing the research project for the first time. You don't have any kind of prior experience of doing research. Uh, during your BTEC days. So initially, you know, you, you need some time to get accustomed with the process. Uh, so initially, you know, formulating formulating the problem statement itself will, will take a lot of time. You might have to read a lot of papers. You might have to do some preliminary experiment uh, to get, get to know that whether you are going in the right direction or not. 
you may might have to discuss with the with your guide with your phd with the senior phd student so that's why you know initial few months will be going just to you know get an idea that where to start and how to start so that's why as early as possible if you start you will get enough time uh to to you know do well in the in the mtech project and also remember that you have your placement by the end of third semester so you might need some leave from october onwards so that's why you know if you can complete the first part at least then if you can leave for for two months take your take you know complete your placements in io and come back in december then also you know after that if you work for two months then your whole project will be done then you can submit the paper uh, by february and march and because you know submitting doesn't mean that it's done i mean then reviews will come again you have to do some changes so there are a lot of things that you have to do and it's a it's a, it's a long process i mean uh, i can share my experience for me my mtech thesis took almost one year to complete and get a paper out of it i mean even i got the paper published after finishing my mtech so it's a long process and the first time you'll be doing this so that's why the early you start that will be beneficially for you so yeah that's it guy mtech thesis is a great opportunity to have a flavor of research and if you can get a paper out of it you might get interested in that domain and might want to do research further and join phd also or maybe you can you can you can decide to join some r d lab also so that's why i will highly recommend you that please focus on your mtech project or mtech thesis many of the students i have seen they are not interested to do mtech thesis after one year because they have started feeling so exhausted and they think that okay let's have a job and leave the mtech but you know it's a great opportunity because these iits and isc they are doing great research in some uh, fields of of engineering discipline so if you join those guides and and i mean i mean you have to stay there for 2 years so there is no harm of do, doing the work so that's why take this opportunity and 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 do the research work as much as possible so that it will be helpful for you for the future life so that's it guys that's it about this video i hope you like this video and if you like like this video please like it and share this video to other people as well and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that whenever you upload a video you get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye